Okay, well, thank you very much for being here with me today. We are coming to the end of day two of International Airport Summit, and I'm joined by Kirk Goodlett, Director of Facilitation and Product Development at Winnipeg Airport Authority. Um, my first question to you, Kirk, is what would you tell emerging airports to capitalise on the most? Well, I think what this, uh, this conference has shown over the last two days is really the need to return to some of the fundamentals that we might have forgotten about over the course of the last two and a half years and, and uh, certainly some of the challenges that we faced over the summer across the globe have demonstrated a need to go back to just really fundamental passenger services and, and customer experience baggage delivery, um, just meeting those those very core expectations that, that passengers expect. Um, so that's what that's what these last two days have really shown. Absolutely. So in terms of sustainability, would you say it's important for the passenger to understand the fundamental sustainability initiatives of an airport um, and things like carbon offsettings? Would you say that's a crucial part of of becoming sustainable as a industry? Uh, certainly, I think that's a, that's a very important part. Uh, sustainability needs to be baked into the way in which we communicate with our, our communities, the way in which we communicate with our, our customers, uh, airlines, stakeholders, government agencies. Uh, it needs to be baked into everything that we do. Absolutely. So, in terms of passenger, again, so it's all about passenger experience, um, what should airports really be focusing on to take that passenger experience to that next level? Mm. Well, I've already said, go back to the basics yep. in terms of uh, you know, reliability, uh -huh. predictability, um, but I, I do think that airports really need to focus on workforce culture, so more of an internal component, but in turn delivers a good experience to, to passengers. Um, we need to focus on building a resilient workforce and a, and a resilient culture, and I think those two are, are really fundamental for us, and certainly challenges with which we're all grappling. Absolutely. So, um, a buzzword that's been going around the, this summit so far is the idea of collaboration. So collaboration within the industry, with airlines, other airports. But where, where, but where can an airport start? What's the starting point of, the, of, of collaboration? Well, I, I think there are, there are so many stakeholders in this very complex uh, system and, and, and uh, the aviation sector. So it really does start with your, your customers, airlines and, and stakeholders within your airport, but of course your community. You, you need to have a social license to operate. And so the community in which you're located is, is uh, certainly an incredibly important stakeholder. Uh, and that ties into how we how we operate sustainably and, and all of those themes. So, um, where to start? Certainly within your your facilities, within your terminal, but moving out and uh, and beyond to consult with stakeholders in your community, um, businesses, universities, and, and so on. Absolutely. And my final question is. What's a key takeaway from the summit so far that you will go back to your airport and think we should be doing this? I, I do think that um, focusing on workforce culture and focusing on building back better and more resilient um, and, and certainly uh, being able to, to be flexible in the face of a, a next pandemic and, and certainly focusing on um, certainly focusing on building back a, a better culture. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for your time today. Thank, thank you. you.